We start with a point. Hi, it's Rob Bryant, and welcome back once again to the Imagining the Tenth Dimension video blog. And uh, we're going to be looking at one of the polls that comes from the text version of this blog. You can always read along with this blog if you go to tenthdimension.com slash blog. We always provide a link to the specific one over in the description box. Now poll 41, the question uh, asking for people's response was, life uses quantum physics effects such as tunneling and entanglement to engage with reality outside of space-time. And this is true of all creative processes. 83.2% agreed while 16.8 disagreed with this poll, which ended on June 10th, 2009. Now, I suggested the wording for this poll in my blog entry accompanying poll 36, Do Plants Use Quantum Effects? Both this current poll question and that previous poll, 36, are connected to my blog entry, Creativity and the Quantum Universe. I'll post links to both of those videos uh, here now. In those entries, I talked about the scientific experiments that have shown ways in which life is engaged with more than the now of our 4D space-time. This time around, I'm going to talk mainly about creativity. So first of all, here's a link to a video from the TED Talks series. Uh, it features Amy Tan, the best-selling author of The Joy Luck Club. Amy takes us on a similar exploration to the areas my project regularly delves into, blending ideas from quantum mechanics and cosmology with her own thoughts on free will, chance, and creativity. This presentation is light and fun, but underneath, Amy is dealing with some heady concepts. There continues to be mounting evidence that we operate outside of the limited little window we call now. So we're going to provide a link here to an article about recent research that shows there are processes which let us decide what we're about to do before we're consciously aware of the decision. And uh, here's a link to another author speaking at TED Talks about creativity. This is Elizabeth Gilbert, author of Eat, Pray, Love. Elizabeth has some very wise things to say about the negative connotations sometimes attached to the role of being a creative person. The myth that creative people have to suffer for their art is dangerously destructive. Last entry in When's a Knot, Not a Knot, I ended by asking what we think about loops and knots, and that we ponder the loops and knots that keep us from our goals. My song Addictive Personality is about those same patterns that we can let ourselves be trapped into. And Elizabeth adds some very important points to this conversation. So this time around, we're just going to finish by looking at that song, Addictive Personality. And uh, next time around, we're going to be looking at uh, the Tenth Dimension appearing at Boing Boing, a very famous site, and uh, talk about some of the conversations that happened there when uh, the video, the original Imagining the Tenth Dimension video was posted there. My name is Rob Bryanton. Enjoy the journey. i
Excuses.